More than 40 million people in the U.S. wear contact lenses. I'm wearing them as we speak. For some, they're a necessity. For others, an accessory. But our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, uncovered an unscrupulous marketplace for contact lenses that could put your eyes at risk. Colored contacts had their moment in early 2000, but what's old is new again, and pampered peepers are back in a big way. With the rise of selfie culture, influencers, fashionistas, and celebrities are posting pictures of their colored contacts. There's even YouTube tutorials on how to match your makeup to your colored contacts. Contacts are a FDA class two or three medical device and require a prescription, but that hasn't stopped the illegal sale of them all over the internet, at retail stores, and even swap meets. We have these for 20. Maybe I heart you, but they're red. They're comfortable? I think so, yeah. So after being able to buy these so easily, I wanted a professional opinion, so reached out to an eye doctor. Hi, Dr. Brian. Hi, Leslie. To get a clearer picture of this underground eyewear trend. What are your thoughts on this trend? First of all, it is 100% illegal for anyone to sell a contact lens without a prescription. If it's fit improperly, people can get serious infections, ulcers, scarring, and even blindness. I brought some popular contact lenses that all the celebrities are wearing online. Let's go try these contacts on and you tell me if they do in fact fit or not. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. These are burning. Just, just, just take them out. Just take them oh, out. Oh, my eyes are burning. What was going on there? The contact lens is too tight. It's strangling your eye, and it's not getting the nutrients that it needs. Makes sense. What people don't realize is when you take a contact lens, you're literally putting it in your body, bacteria can jump in and you can get a massive infection. These are expensive. You're telling me I should throw them out? No! Go for it, Leslie. Bye-bye, colored contacts. Thank you, Dr. Brian. This has been a very eye-opening experience.